This video is a lesson from our free course on validation rules. If you find it useful, you can sign up at academy.rotive.io. In this video, let's talk about functions. I'm gonna explain what they are and give you a couple examples of how you might wanna use them in your validation rules. So first off, a function is a piece of a formula or a validation rule that does a specific thing. And typically there's an input and there's an output. And you can use functions together to make very sophisticated formulas or sophisticated validation rules within Salesforce. So if you look in Salesforce here, we're on the opportunity object, we're in the validation rule builder. You scroll down a little bit, you can see on the right hand side, there's a list of all of our available functions. You can scroll through here and select whatever action, whatever function you want, or at the top, you can sort them by their different categories, like date and time actions, logical actions, math actions, etc. Now, all of these functions follow the same structure. There's a word, and then there's open parentheses and close parentheses. And typically, a function is expecting an input and will give you an output. And so if it does expect an input, you'll see that in between those two parentheses. So here's a good example. If we look at the LEN function, which is short for length, you can see that it's structured here, LEN, open parentheses, and then there's text, close parentheses. What this is telling us is that the function is expecting us to give it the text value. That's the input that it expects. So we provide whatever text we'd like, and then what it's going to output for us is the number of characters in that text string. And you'll see that all of these functions follow that same structure. If we look at is null, for example, this is checking to see if that expression is null or not, if there's a value there or not, and it returns either true or false, and the little description on the right explains that. Now, it is possible that functions have more than one input. So if we scroll down here, we choose is pick value. So this is, this is checking a pick list value. It's actually expecting us to give it two inputs. What's the pick list field that we're curious about? And then what's the text value that we wanna check? So this is how we can see if a pick list value like a stage field in negotiation or it's in interest or qualification, we can choose that pick list field right here. And then we can choose that text value, qualification, interest, et cetera, right there on the right. And this is gonna return either true or false. There are a couple exceptions to this input idea. So there's a few of these functions that don't need any input at all. One of the most common ones is the today function. You can see though, it still has the same structure. It's got the word and then open parentheses and close parentheses, but there's nothing in between those two parentheses. It doesn't actually need anything from us to work. Instead, this just returns the current date. We don't need to provide anything else to it. Same thing with time now. It's just gonna return what the current time is. Again, not expecting any sort of input. And here's one of the most complicated common functions that you'll use. It's an if function. And so what this is doing is it's asking if and then there's some logical test and answering whether or not that test is true or false. If it's true, the function is going to do this first thing. If it's false, it's going to do whatever we put here in this second thing. I'm going to hit insert. And so whenever you insert a function like this, it's just going to copy what we have right here on the lower right hand side. And then it's up to us to replace these input you know, placeholders with whatever we actually want the function to do, whatever input we want it to have. So to summarize, a function is a little piece of code that has a specific action that you can use in a formula or in a validation rule to create complex logic, to get the system to represent whatever that business logic is that you have in mind. As you start using functions, always take a look on the right-hand side for a little description of what sort of input it's expecting and how it's meant to be used. I hope you found that helpful. That was a lesson from our free course on validation rules. You can sign up for it at academy.rotive.io. Thanks for watching.